Right. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just I'm just putting some hardware on these wall units for a kitchen I'm making at the minute. I thought it was a good chance to do a little review, uh, like a real quick short review on it all. Um, and it's only a small thing, but it's really good. So I thought you know it's worth mentioning to people. So I've just been using it for fitting some ridiculously expensive Amac Martin hardware, Amac Martin, Amac Martin, whichever one it is, it, wherever it is, it's bloody expensive. So you don't want to, you know, cock it up if you can avoid it, especially as you're going to waste work. But um, it's the self-centering drill bits. So for years, I've been using, I'm not sure if you can see that, if it'll focus in. They're kind of standard. Uh, I think this one's a trend snappy one, but to be honest, they're all much for much. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, and they work okay, but I've always had gripes with it. The main one being it clogging up. So as, as you're drilling holes, this kind of cage type arrangement that goes around the outside of the bit, there's not an awful lot of clearance between that and the pilot bit. And what you tend to find is, especially with sort of hardware, you don't get so much for like MDF or something because it's like more particular, you know, rather than fibrous, but it just bungs up in here and then your bit gets stuck out or you know and you don't notice and it, it's just a pain um, but every one I've ever owned I've had a few different brands they're all based around this design they've all been the same so you just kind of accept it as a, you know it's nature and a beast sort of thing but earlier this year I got some of these ones now these are from Axminster Trade which is a tool company in the UK I'm guessing they're probably rebranded in other countries have them as well just under a different name but um these are fantastic, and if you look at it, there's an awful lot more clearance between the pilot bit in the centre and this sort of like spring-loaded cage arrangement on the outside. Um, and it just unclog. You know, you can I can fit 50 hinges, and I, I don't have to stop and take the bit out and you know sort of like try and clear it like this, um, which is just really handy. Now, when I first got them, I sort of bought them because someone recommended them, and, and they're coming. It looks like it's massive. You think, well, that's going to get in the way of things, but. There's the odd thing it does, um, like if you use like adjustable plastic feet for cabinets, it's not, it's too big to fit, you know, in, but, you know, that's not normally something you're too fussed about being accurate. But for um, flight hinges, uh, it's never too big, it doesn't get in the way. And it's got quite a nice taper to it, so even though it's quite a wide um, kind of spring-loaded guide on the end, it's got enough taper that even if you're doing hinges with like a size 3 screw, it, it, it's still plenty centres nicely. Um, the other nice thing about it is it's a Centratec, um, you know, Centratec shaft on it, so you can use it with Festool, and I think some of the fell stuff uses Centratec, or, it, you know, you can use it. Uh, and obviously, if you haven't got Centratec, you can just stick it in a normal truck like you would, you know, like one of the normal ones, or I think they're probably still working like a normal snappy quick change as well, because it's only a smidge smaller. Um, but yeah, really, really good. And the other thing I will say about them is the actual drill bits, the pilot bits, um, are really good quality drill bits as well. So that's another gripe with these, is they always tend to have really crap drill bits in them. And obviously you can, you know, change them out, but they're normally quite a sort of long drill bit for the diameter. So first of all, you've got to find one that's long enough. And normally if you get one, it's too long, you've got to trim it to get it right. And you just want it to end in the right place. So obviously if it's too far back, there's enough play in this that then it bounces off as it goes in. But, I mean, these have been drilling through really hard woods, you know, sort of like American oak and stuff, which is quite hard on drill bits, tend to get burning if they're blunt. Goes through them really nice and easily. The replacement drill bits that go in them are relatively inexpensive, um, and, you know, they're good quality and they, they're readily available. So, real pleased with those. If you're thinking about getting some self-centering bits, don't even bother with these type. Just get yourself some of these, because they're excellent. What I'll do is I'll... Um, I'll get a lump of oak and a butt hinge and I'll just film me drilling a few holes, you know, so you can kind of see the problems that you commonly get with this style um, and how this one avoids it. But, um, but yeah, definitely well worth a look if you're sort of in the market for some of these. Um, I know it's not a big thing, but it's one of these things that if you're using them all the time, it's, it's quite nice to find something that just does the job that it's supposed to do, you know, so um, yeah, that's it. So that's a, a little off cut of oak and a, uh, you know, like a normal 63mm hinge. And so the way these work is you kind of do them like this. And assuming that you're not knocking things over or, you know, keep... I mean, obviously, normally you'd be setting a recess so you wouldn't have to worry about moving. Basically, it goes nice and smooth, drills easy. And there's no clogging here. This is still completely free of debris. 
Now, the more kind of common ones, which I've been using up to now, is like this kind. And you can see a smaller, smaller tip, so. Already that's clogging up. And that you see, did you see that spring there? You can see it's getting bits clogged in between that cut. Let's do a bit more, it's clogging. And you can feel the resistance, makes it really hard to, to press down as well. You can sort of, yeah, it's clogged up already. And I'm not sure if the camera will pick up because it's only on my phone and it's not a brilliant camera, but you can see it's all clogged in there now. Now, all of the twists of the drill bits are absolutely full of wood that can't escape. And so now when you try and drill something like that, there's nowhere for the swarf to clear to because uh, the, you know, the little spiral cutting edges are, are all blocked up. So, and then you'll get the burning. And that's why it's you know, getting so hot. And then it's hard to drill and then it blunts your drill bits quicker because they're getting hot. Um, but yeah, you can sort of see even with just a few few holes on that, how you can see a bit of smoke coming off there. The same thing's happening again. There's nowhere for the bits to escape. And that's hot enough that you don't want to touch it. So yeah, that's them, and as a comparison again. Absolutely excellent, really good. So that's the review. Uh, if anyone's got any questions, more than welcome to ask them. I don't think there'll be an awful lot to ask about these sort of things, but fire away if you do, uh, there's comments at the bottom. Thanks very much for watching.